My name is Mrs. Kausalya Tirupuvano. Uh, I'm a resident of India, Bangalore city in Karnataka. I found out in India children were most children. I would say more than 75 percent, I would even say 85 percent of children are deprived of basic amenities like homes, proper homes, proper food, proper nutrition, proper clothing, and more than that, education. They were deprived of education. So if something could be done about it, I felt the world would be a better place to live in. In 1994, we started helping the, the building of the school putting up a wall, demolishing the old shed, and then doing up the different cl classrooms. And today, there are about 25 classrooms in it. Classrooms which are fully equipped and have, and have all the amenities which is necessary for children to study. Well, the second part of it, which came as a lesson for me also, was the children invariably, the school clo opens at 9, by 10 o'clock, nearly 70% of the children give some excuse that they want to go to the toilet and they never come back. But the reason was they all went to beg because they came on an empty stomach. The children were hungry, so they couldn't study, they couldn't listen, they couldn't do anything. So I said, give them a plate of rice. In about 95, we started the midday. I felt that these children of these government schools were uh, deprived of many essential necessities like physical training. The government did not provide anything for physical training. So we managed to get the PT master. Providence has showered so many wonderful things for a human being. By nature, by the bounty that he has given us in not only physically, mentally, spiritually, so many things. We should return some of that to others. So I think that if having got this human body, one should try to help their fellow men in some way to make your life more fruitful and to make uh, uh, the world a better place. What our great sages have said, that the life that is in you is the same life that is in every living creature.